Hi, my name is Mike Peacher and I'm taking a look at the Korg MP10 Pro Media Player. This is the top of the unit which has all the controls you need which are backlit and also a large touch screen display. The MP10 is really a two player machine. It can play MIDI files, standard MIDI files and also a MIDI plus G, that's files with lyrics in and also an mp3 player standard mp3 files and also the mp3g files which have the lyrics in and sometimes they're called cdg files all those formats commercial formats will load in and also files from various companies like Sultan where the MIDI files are prepared with the lyrics they will all go in automatically if you don't have that there's a lyrics maker using the notepad of a PC or similar in the Mac that lets you link two files together, the music file and the word file, into a controllable lyrics display using pads or foot switches. The double players then have a motorized fader, you can see it moving there, for DJ style mixing. I can put something on and then as it comes across you'll hear it playing. You'll see the display shows you the stereo metering and you can change the volume here overriding the main mixing which is done from a mixer panel here. And so we go back to the main screen and if I take it down for a moment the two files are shown in different colours. Player 1 is yellow, player 2 is blue and there's also a now playing list here for you to select various music. At the heart of the whole unit is the fact that the sounds are kept on an internal library which is stored on a hard disk. The hard disk here uh, has actually 146 gig of memory and the space I've used is just a couple of gig or so for nearly 2,000 songs and they were brought in via my USB and uh, if they do have a little notepad lyrics file you can see it there autumn leaves that's the lyrics file and that's the music file. You put them side by side, put them in the same directory and they will play the words automatically together. Uh, you can then use the switches to move the pages on. Uh, and there are of course commercial ones that you can have working automatically. So my now playing file shows me my 50s playlist which I loaded up here. Uh, I've got my various files. I also keep some files which are originals playing in no stop mode uh, when I'm taking a break because there are three modes there's manual there's auto mode which now has automatically loaded the first two songs of my playlist and will play them by pressing the next button I can go from one to the next or it will go from one to the next once I press those buttons to play the music if I put them in no stop mode then they will automatically play from one to the next. So here comes the music quietly in the background and if I press the next button to simulate it moving on to the next one it will automatically start playing it. I also use it as a good fade out mechanism uh, in a professional way from one to the other when the second player is not working. So there's the different modes, three modes of play. Uh, DJ fanatics can use the master control with headphones to listen to the current file or monitor the file not in play at the moment which really means that this is very useful for DJ people who've been using PCs in the past now they can just leave there safely at home and use this with this huge memory space and very sophisticated search facilities of course you can search for a file using a find function with just one or two uh, phrases of the words to find all your files but uh, the best thing to do is to sort them into playlists and that way you've got unlimited access to your music in different ways and you can keep updating those or changing or removing them uh, it won't affect the initial library which is here and there's always two files that are or two lists that are available now playing which you saw on the screen here and also request list which you can use to pick out files from your library and put in when you're requested for a particular song. I've got How Do You Be You Love Their Bee Gees and the Samba I did the other day. So that's very useful as well. Playlist and the library, the key to the whole success of the unit if you like and the quality uh, which is really really good.
The mixer here shows you the different things that are available. The mic section comes from the voice processor and also from the voice presets which are supplied by TC Helicon as well with different voices. So I've got harmonic voices there and I can have up to three voices playing with my lead voice as well singing in to the microphone. So if I just uh, go back to the main screen here and switch the choir on then when and the microphone as well of course when I say one two three and then I play the chord on the keyboard do, 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 it will give me my harmony turn it on and off with that button and that's my effects on and off the effects are still working and if I press the talk button I can make announcements without having the effects on top so that's very easy to use and useful. There's a second mic for adding just straight voices or another instrument uh, with reverb and a control of uh, different things. For example, here I can just select the pan and the level and there's uh, EQ and um, basic reverb as well. The microphone one is where it comes into its own because this one has lots of different facilities and you can see from this that you can actually change the voice in lots of ways using the TC Helicon voice processor. Okay, so all those functions are available there. For a keyboard player, there's some amazing extras in this machine. Keyboard, coming back to this screen, you can see this little green section here is for the MIDI keyboard. You can use a master keyboard or any MIDI keyboard that you've got, preferably with touch sensitivity, to play the synthesizer inside this machine. This has got Korg's premium EDS sound engine. I like to think of it as RX, natural sound technology, really. I love the sound of the drums, the guitars, and the orchestral instruments, and the piano especially, because I'm a pianist. And they're great sounds. So, in fact, I can just play from any keyboard and it will give me a really good sound. You can't really measure the sound quality here, uh, but it's good. Take my word for it. Um, and if I want to look a bit further into it and change the sounds, I can go to the standard synthesizer sounds, all very good quality of course, so if I want to turn that into something else, piano and strings, I can press the button there and now it says piano and strings and it's got the strings on top. What you may not realize is that this actually has got four layers of synthesizers built into it. So if I just come back to the screen here and look at it, I right, just go to the keyboard sounds. When you get the synthesizer here, it has got one, two, three, four different sound synthesizers. Three for the upper part or just standard playing and I've only got one of them on at the moment this one which is the piano and then there's a second one which is I'm using as a stereo digital piano there although I think I'd rather have something else like strings so let me or a synthesizer let's find something yeah how about a synthesizer slow synth dark pad there we'll put that one on there and that's now I'll turn that on so I've got that and then the third layer can be stereo strings or whatever you want as well. And the great thing is that you can change the pan position, the volume, the EQ of it, re add reverb, add effects. And effects are really, really good. Not just a brilliant reverb. You've got stereo chorus, flanger, phaser, rotary speakers delay is great as well to add to your reverb and I use smooth hall quite a lot and there's some other effects as well like bright room and gate which are all fun to use as well you can split the keyboard and that way when you play you will get the fourth layer of sound as well playing for you I've selected a string sound so as I come down the piano the lower part of the keyboard is playing strings that is a, an extra thing to take note of and it does mean that from a standard keyboard playing in on MIDI you've got a really tremendous synthesizer keyboard backing to use with your units. So for keyboard players take note, very interesting to use.